Hi, it's Steve from Part Select. Today we're going to show you how to change the impeller and seal kit on your dishwasher. And it's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a number 15 and a number 20 Torx driver, a small flat blade screwdriver, a quarter inch nut driver, an adjustable wrench or a one inch wrench, and you may also require a small hammer and a sharp chisel. Let me show you how we do it. Now to begin this repair, I'm going to start by opening the dishwasher door and removing the bottom rack and any items that may be in the dishwasher. We'll just set that rack aside. Now next we're going to remove the bottom spray arm. So it just loops in that retaining bolt. Lift the spray arm off, set it aside, and also remove the spray arm bushing. Now next we're going to remove eight screws that secure the pump outlet cover. And they are a number 15 torque screw. Now with the screws removed you can lift up on that pump cover and just pull it forward and at the same time hold the manifold at the back and pull that pump cover out of the manifold. We'll set that aside. Now next we're going to remove a quarter inch hex head screw that secures the impeller to the motor shaft. We'll also need our adjustable wrench or our one inch wrench. There's a large hex portion in the center of that impeller. So we'll put the wrench on that and then loosen the screw. Now this may be a difficult process on some dishwashers. The screw may not turn easily. If that's the case, You'll have to take a chisel and a hammer and just cut that impeller in the center to remove it. Then lift the impeller off the shaft and if it won't come off easy just take a flat blade screwdriver and put it down in the side there and just give it a little pry around the edges or tap it with a hammer until you break it free and then lift it off. Now next we'll see four number 20 torque screws that secure this separator to the pump. We'll need to remove those. These screws are about two inches long. Now once we have removed all four screws, we can lift up on that separator. And again, we'll have to hold that manifold out of the way. We'll just lift that separator up until it clears the drain impeller. And we'll pull that out and we'll set it aside. Now next we have the chopper blade in a spring and on some models there may be a bushing that sits on top of that chopper blade. Remove those and discard them. Now next there will be an oval outlet in the top of that pump that may have one or two white plastic balls in it. So remove those. Most models you'll only find one of them on the top and the other one will be down inside. So we'll next remove that single screw on an oval shaped cover there. It's a number 15 Torx. You can remove the remaining check ball. Then we'll lift that cover up and set it aside. Now use caution when working in the pump area at this point is typically you will find bits of broken glass and sharp objects in here. So it's actually a good idea to put on a pair of safety gloves and remove that debris. And if you have small pieces in there, it would be a good idea to take your vacuum cleaner and vacuum those out. Now once we've removed the rest of the debris in here, we're going to remove the drain impeller. And it should pull straight off of the shaft, but if not, you can either try a flat blade screwdriver and just go around the edges of it, give it a little pry, and see if it'll break free. And if it doesn't, you're going to have to use a hammer and a chisel and just cut it straight down through the top and take it out in pieces. Now to reassemble, once we've got that pump area cleaned out, particularly around where that seal is going to go in here, we'll want to put a little bit of dish detergent or saliva on the edge of that seal. And we're going to slide it down over that shaft and then carefully press
press it into place. Now next we're going to slide the new drain impeller on. Line it up on the shaft. Press it down into position. And next we'll put the gasket in place. Lay that down into the channel, make sure it's not tucked up over the edge. Then we're going to remove the gasket on the top of that cover. Just pry it out with a flat plate screwdriver and discard the old one. And check that area. Make sure it's clean. Remove any debris that is in that groove. And we're going to install a new gasket in that area. And in doing so, make sure that we don't get any twists in it. It is fairly snug. And then press it in flat. And insert one of the check balls into that round opening. We'll set the cover on top. And then install that retaining screw. And you'll have to hold that cover down screw in. Make sure the gasket is not pinched. Our next step will be to drop the second check ball into that oval opening. And we're going to install the cutter blade and spring. So we'll insert the straight end of that spring into the opening in that chopper blade. Next we'll install the spring and chopper blade assembly. So we'll take the spring, the hooked end down, the straight end is going to go in through that looped opening and the chopper will sit on top of that. Then we'll put the hooked end into the notch in that drain impeller. Make sure it sits down into it. Next, we're going to take the separator and we're just going to pry that old gasket out of there with a flat blade screwdriver. See if you can catch a edge on that. Pry it out. Peel the old one out and discard it. Check that area, make sure that there's no debris in there. install the new one and then we're ready to put that separator back into position. So if we look at the bottom of it you'll see that there is an oval opening that is going to sit right on top of that little gasket that we put in place. So line it up roughly then we're going to lift up on that rear manifold, slide it out over top of the drain impeller, drop it down into position and rotate it. Have the separator lined up with the screw holes and the opening on that pump. We'll insert the four screws and we're just going to snug those up without tightening them to make sure that we have them all in the proper spot. And tighten them diagonal to each other. And then tighten them up securely. We'll next install the new wash impeller. And inside of the hub of that, there is a projection that will line up with a groove on the shaft. So we'll set it down over top of the drain impeller until it lines up. Let's take our new screw that secures that impeller. Make sure the gasket is pushed all the way up to the head of the screw. Drop it into position. And while holding it by hand, we'll tighten that quarter inch screw. And then slide the wrench on it. 
and tighten it securely. It's important that we have that screw very tight as that depresses the drain impeller onto the seal to make sure that we don't have a leak. Next step will be install the pump cover and we'll insert that opening into the manifold at the back and line up the holes, make sure that manifold is pulled on firmly and then replace the screws. Put a couple of diagonally opposite ones in first, just make sure we have it lined up and then tighten them all securely. Next, we'll put the wash arm bearing on. And then the spray arm. And the retaining bolt. I'm just going to spin that and make sure it turns freely. We'll replace the lower dish rack. And our repair is complete.